On Monday, a dead coconut rhinoceros beetle was found in a bag of compost at a big box store on Maui, leading to the question of what is the status of this invasive pest, being that this year has been the first year that we've seen its presence on multiple islands. So we're here at the State Department of Agriculture to find out more. So I'd love to introduce the acting plant pest control manager for the Department of Agriculture. We're here with uh, Darcy. Thank you very much for taking the time. And thanks for sharing with this because, I mean, I, I'm speaking from somebody's point of view who doesn't really necessarily know anything about these beetles. So just to share and just to start off that we did find the dead beetle on Maui, but are there any live beetles that have been found? So, so far at this point, we haven't found any live beetles, but what we have found at a big, big box store uh, is concerning that beetles may have been, there, there's a chance that they're there and the department is looking into it to take an aggressive stance. And I understand earlier this year that beetles were found on the island of Kauai as well. So is that at this point, is it just those three islands that are being under the microscope? Correct. We, we, we know we have infestations on Oahu and Kauai and we have strong suspicions that Maui might be infested also. I know here on Oahu, I mean, we all see it all over the place, those big black boxes dangling from the trees. Can you give a little clarification that those aren't actually helping to uh, eradicate the, bug, the beetles, but more so just to kind of find out where they are? Correct. Those are traps, and we maintain those traps as a part of our, our detection and monitoring tool. So it helps us give, it gives us an idea of what the population and density is like in any area. I know this bug was, uh, this beetle was first found in 2013, so it's been 10 years thus far. What is the status of the beetle here on Oahu? So after the detection in 2013, we did a real good job at managing the beetle uh, for about seven years. And then the population started getting out of control. We're, we no longer have it under control. For us individually, for us at home, what can we do to contribute to your efforts of either controlling it here on Oahu or preventing it from going to other well, islands? One of the things that we've learned in the past nine years is green waste management is a real key factor in managing the beetles. So managing your green waste, all your opala, um, process it, um, turn it over, uh, make sure you don't have things just randomly lying around, decaying in place. That's actually a big uh, cornerstone in, in the effort to control the beetle. Um, if you see the beetle or you have suspicions, you know, be proactive, let the department know by calling 643-PEST or reporting to crbhawaii.org and educate yourself. So as you're monitoring your green waste, be sure to monitor your yard as well, as coconut rhinoceros beetles are a serious pest to palm trees, in particular, coconut palms. So to find out more about the impacts of the coconut rhinoceros beetle, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakopiti with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.